I'm Carly and I'm the writer and artist uh, at Project Heal. Today I'm going to be making a video clip to answer one of my most frequently asked questions. So um, a lovely thing to do is to make a hospital memory box for a family who's going to experience the death of their baby. Um, and today I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that and all the things that you can include. And um, as much as you'll be giving a, a beautiful gift to a family, you're, you're passing on healing to them. It's also a really healing experience for yourself because you have to put a lot of love and energy into this and um, it, it focuses on your baby in such a beautiful way. When choosing a box, you need to make sure that you get one that is really strong. So a strong cardboard box would be perfect. It needs to be able to hold quite a bit of weight and it needs to be able to last for years to come. You can pick boxes up from most places. I picked this one up from um, the news agency just down the road from my house and it's got some beautiful dragonflies on it and it would be perfect because it's quite strong. So. All you need to do is make sure that it's strong enough to hold whatever um, you're going to be putting inside. Um, if it's not particularly pretty, you could always wrap some ribbon around it. Um, you don't have to be very creative. Francesca and I have a card line specifically for the loss of babies and children and it's called uh, Loss for Words. We have some really pretty hospital memory box cards at the website and while they're really reasonably priced I decided to put up a few on my own website as a free download so I just think that you could use that money for other things like candles or blankets so here are a couple of um, designs these are actually some of my older cards so the ones on the website are newer and they're, they're my new angel dust butterflies um, but yeah you can grab them as a free download just need to visit my website I'll, I'll leave the links below this video for you to get um, and I've got all different ones there there's one for boys and girls and there's neutral cards and there's this one over here which is for, for multiple um, babies I'll just read this one out to you I'm not sure if it's going to pick it up um, well enough on the camera um, as you leave the hospital without your beautiful babies Know that they are still miracles and that they will always be remembered. And I think it's really important to use the word miracle um, for the family because it doesn't matter how long a baby lives for, all babies are miracles. So um, and the family needs to know that. So yeah, if you'd like to grab a card, just visit my, um, my website. Including flower seeds is such a beautiful idea because the family can plant them in memory of their baby and watch them grow. And the family may be even inspired to create their own special garden, especially for their baby. And that will become a place for the family to use as a time to reflect and just to be at peace. So I always love planting seeds in memory of Christian because as I watch the plant grow and flower, the flowers are like a gift straight from him and it's a real special connection that I have to him so have a think if you can get your hands on some flower seeds try and include them in your memory box if you can include some pretty white backed paper card in your memory box the family can use these cards to take their baby's hand and footprints so leave the family some instructions to use the white side of the card to place their baby's prints onto it's really important to use the white side because later down the track the family may want to have their baby's prints placed into some silver or you know they may want to have them used in some sort of artistic way and for the artist who is creating this special piece for the family it really helps them out if the prints are on a white background so think about including a few cards and encourage the family to make multiple prints of their baby's foot and hands and, um, and that way they can give them to family members and loved ones to keep. It um, will probably be one of the most precious gifts that you can give this family.
If you can, include two blankets in your memory box, one for the baby to be wrapped in and one for the family to take home with them. Encourage the family to wrap the baby in both blankets so that the baby's skin touches both and that way it will be extra special for the family to take the other one home. It doesn't matter what sort of blanket that you give, whether it's a little summer wrap like these two here or um, you know, if it's a hand knitted woolen blanket, whatever you can give will be more than enough. Information on healing after loss might just be the greatest gift that you give this family. If there's an organisation, charity or group that has been amazing to you in your own journey of healing, you may want to include that information in your box. Try not to overload the family with too much information though. You might just want to give them a few website addresses with a brief summary of, of what each organisation is about. These two are um, obviously my own. Um, I run Luminous Light with my girlfriends here in Perth and that's just my card to my website. Of course you don't have to include my information, it's just a, um, just a guide on, um, on an idea of what you can do. Candles I believe are a must have. Now the reason behind this is um, when I include candles in my memory box I do this because uh, a friend of mine um, from my mother's group she created a box for me and she included inside some strawberry scented candles. Now, now, while, I w now while I wasn't a huge fan of strawberry scented candles um, I didn't realize at the time how much that scent would mean to me later down the track and, and that is because when you burn a candle that has a scent at a certain time in your life it doesn't really matter how how much time passes when you smell that scent again it takes you straight back to that time and so for me when when I smell a strawberry scented candle I just think of Christian and it takes me right back and it's like he's almost there with me so it's a really lovely idea to include a scented candle uh, within your memory box you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money um, just find find a scent that is that is available in you know in many places. So it could be lavender or vanilla, um, rose, um, anything that, anything that you like. Anything that has a scent would be really lovely. Um, and I always like to include them in a pretty little bag. Um, a lady made these for me. They're so beautiful. I'll have to put the links up. I bought them on Etsy and um, yeah, she handmade them so I like to include them in my memory box it has a beautiful little piece stuff on there um, I like to include a candle holder this one here um, my, my friend Leah bought for me when she visited me over here from Adelaide and um, I was lucky enough to find a place that sells the exact same candle so I just think it's so pretty because it reflects the butterfly onto any surface um, so yeah if you can include it a, a pretty candle holder you don't have to spend a lot of money like a lot of a lot of stores sell them for three or four dollars so um, they're just very you know they're just something that will be treasured by the family so candles are really important um, and of course we all burn candles when we remember our babies especially on October 15th um, so yeah if you can please please think about including a candle um, so that this family can can burn it when they get home and and you can give them that gift when, of remembering um, it's a really lovely idea if you're in a position to do this you may want to think about including a special ornament in your memory box it's a really sweet idea and um, I think it's a, an extra something that you give the family for me I always include something from the ocean so um, that might be a sea, a seashell or a starfish. Um, this will be going into my next memory box. It's a beautiful shell. Um, and what, what you do by giving the family a special ornament is that you give them something to associate their baby by. So, um, you know, if you give them a special uh, a dragonfly ornament, you know, when they see a dragonfly next, they're going to automatically think of their baby and and see that as a sign and um, it's just a really gorgeous thing to do for somebody so there's a few different things that I've got here the most probably one of the most popular um, ornaments is, is a butterfly to give and 
I got this from um, a store called Bed Bath and Table. I think it was only three dollars. It was from their Easter collection, um, and so yeah, that would be a really sweet thing to include. Um, I've got a little hummingbird here. I just love hummingbirds, and, and although I don't associate um, Christian with them, I'm really drawn to them for some reason. Um, this here was given to me by my friend Teresa, who's a earth angel. Uh, she gave it to me at Christmas time, and I have it hanging in my studio, and it just means the world to me because. Um, I just love birds. One of the final things that you might want to include in your memory box is a certificate to honour and shine some light on your own baby. And it's a beautiful way to let the family know that this box was made in memory of another baby that has passed away. And um, it's just a, a lovely way to show the family that they're not alone and that somewhere out there there's another family who has been through what they're going through now. Um, this one is just an example of what we have at Luminous Light and um, I have them available on my website at Project Heal as a free download so if you want to grab one you're more than welcome to come there and, and download one if you can't make one yourself. Okay, so that's almost it for today. Um, I just put a couple of extra slides in at the end there and that was to show you a few things that you could also include in your memory box. Um, of course, I could speak about them, but we'd be here all day. Um, so yeah, uh, there was a couple of other things that I wanted to mention and that is when you are um, planning to put your memory box together, have a think about inviting some friends or family members over to do this with you. They could even make one themselves and um, you know you can make a really beautiful day out of it and enjoy some good food and um, play some lovely music and light some candles and um, by doing that you're kind of giving yourself an extra memory of your baby. Um, so have a think about that, you might, that might be something that speaks to your heart. Um, probably the last thing that I wanted to mention was try not to focus on numbers. I think when you start setting goals and aims for yourself of, of the number of things that you want to do, you kind of lose focus on the gift that you're giving and it becomes more about the number of things that you can do. And um, sometimes you might, be, you might be left disappointed if you didn't make the number that you wanted to do and that's the last thing you want to experience. So um, whatever you can create will be enough and it will be more than enough. Um, so you're giving a really special gift to another family and you're going to find a lot of healing out of this as well. Um, yeah, wishing you all my love and um, yeah, I'll see you at Project Heal.